Today we're going to paint the sky of our alligator seascape project. For this step, we're going to be focusing on the art vocabulary word tints. Tint is where you add white to a color to make it lighter. So we're going to have three color choices of paint today, yellow, turquoise, and magenta. And there's going to be some white in the middle that we can add to make these colors lighter. So choose one color that you want to use for your sky. Um, I actually think that I'm going to do, I want it to look kind of sunset-ish, so I'm going to do this pink color today. We're also going to have water, a brush, and a towel. Another thing we're really going to be focusing on today is using our supplies correctly. So we're going to be holding our brush like we hold a pencil. We are going to be painting gently as we do our brush strokes back and forth because we don't want to give our brush a bad hair day. And we're going to make sure that we're not mixing up the paint colors in our paint palette that we're sharing as a table. We're only mixing the colors on our paper. So let's start today by imagining that we're going to be creating three different colors with our paint. We're going to create a dark version of pink or whatever color you choose, a medium light version of pink and a very light, light version of pink at the very, very top. So I'm going to start by cleaning my brush because you never know who had it before you. Wipe off the extra water on the edge and then dry it off on your towel. Now I'm going to get just some plain pink and very gently I'm going to start my first stripe on the very edge of my horizon line. I'm going to try to not have scratchy looking brush strokes. That means that your brush is a little dried out. So I need to go back and get a little more paint. It's really hard to do a painting if your brush is dry. Your colors won't mix very well. Your white paper won't cover very well. It's really nice to use a lot of wet paint. Now, once you have your first stripe, we're gonna clean our brush so we can get a new color. Wipe it on the edge and then dry it on your towel. Next, I'm gonna get some white, just plain white. And I'm gonna create my second stripe right above my pink. I know you can't see it very well yet, but this white is very important because when it mixes with our color, it's going to create a lighter version, a tint of our color. So I'm using lots of creamy white paint, so it'll be plenty to mix with my new color. Cleaning my brush. And this time, instead of getting a big scoop of pink, I'm just gonna get a small scoop. And I'm gonna sort of dot that color through the white I might even wipe off the extra. I think I got a bit too much. And then I can blend these colors together. And what you should get is a color that is lighter than the color we started with before. If you're having trouble getting your two colors to blend together, you might try getting a little dip of water and blending that way. If you think it needs to be a little darker, you could just get a little bit more color and mix it in. But just be careful, make sure you add your color a little bit at a time because once it's in there, you can't take it back out. And I'm gonna blend into my first color just a bit. You don't have to blend it in, but I kinda like the way that looks when it's a little bit more blendy between the two different colors. All right, now I'm ready for my last section. I'm gonna clean my brush really well. Wipe it on the edge, not tapping it. That could spill your water bucket. Just wiping it, drying it on the towel. And once again, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of white. I'm gonna fill in the whole rest of my page with those soft, smooth brush strokes. Now, while my white paint is still wet, I'm gonna quickly clean my brush. And this time I'm gonna get a tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of pink, dot it through, and then blend it together. I am trying to get a color that is lighter than the last one I did. And to help it blend, I might use just a little bit of water because once that paint starts to dry, it does not blend together very well. 
Now, I actually think there's a little bit too big of a difference between this color and this color. This is a lot lighter. So I might add a little bit more pink, just a teeny little dot right there along the bottom. Get a little bit of water and blend that. I'm always adding my pink in tiny amounts. So when we're done today, what we will hopefully have is a sky that sort of fades from dark all the way up to light at the top. Now, of course, if it is not perfect, that's okay because things in nature are not perfect. And we might have maybe some clouds in one area, maybe some you know different colors of sky. Nature is like that. But the overall point is to get some colors that are dark and some that are light up here. So I'm just kind of going through with my paintbrush and smoothing out a few areas. Maybe I even want some areas to be a little less smooth. If I add a few little brush strokes of pink, that might be pretty in my sky. It's sort of up to you how you do your brush strokes sometimes. And when your sky is the way you like it, we're going to leave our papers to dry.